Hello, everybody. Um, I've come out today to a, a job we did a couple of weeks ago in Buckworth in Cambridgeshire. And basically, um, all I really want to talk about is a couple of issues Samsung as a manufacturer are getting with installations. Um, we've got a nice little 9 kilowatt unit here on your rubber feet. Um, all your control systems for the unit are on the right hand side. And then we've got some nice lagging down there to make sure it doesn't freeze up. Um, we've actually got about five litres of antifreeze in this, it's actually quite a small um, underfloor heating system. Um, one of the biggest faults Samsung are getting at the moment is an E911 fault. And most installers are basically either not putting a big enough pump in or there's a lot of air in the system. And now the easiest way to get rid of air in the system is there's two connections here, you've got your fly and return. If you just crack this nut open on install, you'll get a hissing sound and obviously just wait until you get a little bit of water out of there and then that should be nice and de-aerated. Now what the Samsung unit actually needs, I'm just going to take you into a nice little really nicely built little cubby hole that someone's built for us. We've got our underfloor heating kit there, um, we've got an alpha pump there, you can actually see that it changes the wattage with the amount of heat it needs to pull out of it. This is the control unit and this is where you'll get your E911 fault. Now, there's a little flow switch down here which is on the return back to the unit and on the 9 kilowatt unit this needs 20 litres a minute on the 16 I think it's 30 so what uh, some of the manufacturers are actually doing or you can buy one yourself it's not very hard at all is you can now get a flow gauge and you'll actually see just where my thumb is on my finger you've got 30 litres a minute there 20 litres a minute there so we're on about I think 25 litres a minute there, so we're absolutely flying through. But basically, if this doesn't read 20 litres a minute, that flow switch generally won't make, and you're, this is why you get an E911 fault. It's a really simple fault. So all you need to do is make sure your, your pump's either sized properly, or you take a different precaution. Now on this job, um, we didn't lay the underfloor, some builders did. So to get over any problems we thought we might get, we actually put what we call a low loss header in. So there's your little low loss header, that's rated to 40 kilowatts I think. So we came from the flying returns, there we are outside, into this unit here, top one's your flow, and we have a little pump there which is a, just a sort of six metre head pump. We go into the low loss header, and then it just circulates back round through the return, so through this one. Then all this does here is when the underfloor heating calls for a, you know, it needs, it needs a run signal. It pulls across on this pump here, comes out of the low loss header and back through the return. And all this does is it really does take away any possibility of an E911 fault. Um, the other way we've done it, and I've got to do one in a couple of weeks actually, um, where there's not enough room really to put a low loss header in as far as we're aware at the moment, is a bigger pump. Um, so you're probably looking at something like a 2555 from Grumfoss or a 2580 really or you know the, the equivalent from Wylo and all the other pump manufacturers so that's that's the main issue at the moment is an E911 fault and it's mainly down to either pump sizing flow issue so if you've got dirt or muck in the system and obviously this flow meet this flow switch sorry just has to make it's just a paddle switch but if it doesn't make you will get E911 so you can either buy yourself a little flow gauge or some of the manufacturers actually send them out but if you're not getting 20 litres a minute on the 9 kilowatt unit, it won't work. You will get a fault code. Um, and you'll need 30 litres a minute on the 16 kilowatt unit. So there's your little Samsung unit. It's going an absolute dream at a minute, as you can see. It's nice and snowy out in the fields, surrounded by farmers' fields today. And I think we've got a outdoor temperature of, there we go, 7 degrees. I'll just run inside. got no other heating in this place whatsoever and there we are ticking away at 19 and a half degrees um, apparently got to about minus 8 the other day and it was still ticking away at 19 20 so they're really really happy um, they're gonna have nice low running costs as well plus they're gonna get the grants for an MCS accredited install and hopefully the fit tariffs when the RHI comes in so there's your little 9 kilowatt unit you can probably hear the noise it's creating which Got to admit it's quite minimal and um, obviously any problems the first thing to do is check your fault codes e911 will be mostly the one that comes up check your flow gauges check your pump sizes and don't forget just bleed some air out of this top pipe there so 
hopefully that helps a lot of the installers out there um, and it will take a little bit of grief away from Samsung. So I hope